what an idiot. Bro, you are so stupid. You really thought that was going to work? Oh, yeah, go all or not, though. Come on, man. Like, seriously? Bitcoin faked out. Bitcoin dropped. Faked out to the drop. Went up. Shorts were breaking. And then everything pumped. New moon pump right now, man. Seriously, like, just absolutely cut this shit. 48 hours later. All right, guys, so we're breaking down the day. Today is day three of trading the 1K to 1 mil. Had a very busy day. You can see in the background here, we actually changed our setup. So I was doing most of that during the day. Took a trade on WIF, and everything was looking kosher, right? WIF could come down to around 146. That is a good rough day take profit. Well, what happened is WIF absolutely tore me apart, hit my maximum risk, and I got out, okay? Now, two things I made a mistake today that you guys are going to learn. The first one is if you are actually looking at the trend here, the channel, or you want to line up your channel here, we hit the side of the channel perfectly, but what I didn't do was realize my channel. So I was actually out and about, I was doing things, I was watching with the whole day, I was waiting for the setup, all right, so we got, we we did lose that whiff trade, but here's where I really messed up, the one hour kept on moving up, and we were overbought, we were overbought, I was trying to push it, I literally got out right here, because I didn't draw my channel, so make sure you guys draw parallel channels, it's not a big loss, guys, we don't have 10k, and we just lost 300, we're at the start of the challenge here, but you want to draw your channel. Okay, okay so we are at 990. We are down. We are at 990. We're negative 3%. We lost our maximum risk. But here's the thing. All in all, I want to teach discipline, right? Discipline is 33 bucks. That is what I was willing to lose. Maybe 30. I went a bit higher. Okay. Even though it got me, tomorrow's a new day right? You know, I was out and about. I looked at the trade all day. I was watching the trade all day and it got me. So we're at 990. We're taking 1000 to 1 million hell or high water. You're going to see me do it. I don't care. I don't, you know, I don't waver. You're going to see me do it. Oh, so I have my own personal tracker guys. I'm filling out. I'm, I'm also doing a separate challenge on my own that has nothing to do with public. But I'll be showing you guys where I take 20,000 to, I'm going to try to hit about 10 mil. Um, so that is my personal account. And I'll show you guys throughout the week as well. But this is our 1K to 1 mil account. Okay. We were down to 910. Now we are at 975. You know, Yesterday, I probably should have taken profit and just been over the $1,000, but we were looking pretty bearish on the four hour. Thought I'd maybe wake up and we'd still be in the trade. It is all good. We are back to, we hit our 7%. We're now back to roughly 975. From 910, I think that is a pretty good win in one day. We're pretty much back in the race here. And uh, one more trade or two more trades, we're going to get rocking and rolling. All right, so there's the tracker. That is where we're at. Would I like to be a lot further? For sure. Did I make some dumb decisions? Yes. All right. One of the questions is, or one of the things is, I went over my 3% max risk. You guys seen what happened. 910, right? Which this should have only been a $30 loss here. Okay. We need to be overbought in the 15. Also, guys, I want you to challenge me, okay? I'm a human being. I don't think people understand this. I get, I take, give good calls. I get that. Mm. And I get you guys to make money. But I want you guys, if I'm calling a trade and you notice something simple, like the 15 is overbought, oversold in the direction, just comment in the comment section, hey, Josh, I noticed this is overbought. I noticed this is oversold. I noticed we broke out. I may have to relook at that trade, okay? I don't want you guys thinking just because I'm calling the trades, you can't question my trades. Don't be rude about it, but 
just be like, hey, I noticed this. I'll be like, you know what? Let me go double check that, right? We're all in this together, right? And we want to build a really insane uh, trading community. And I do run things by with Joji, but Joji and I are very toxic for each other because when I show him something, it influences either of our decisions. So if I get some outside perspective, I'm gonna relook at that, right? Raymond, no problem. Um, Raymond, I know you can't post trades on the actual uh, futures thing because you you don't have the account that we have. So just, if you're posting trades, post them in mentorship chat and people will look at them, all right? Raymond's been here for a while, he's OG. Um, I've given him permission to post you don't have to post trades like I do. Post it how you are, man, whatever. But uh, he has pretty good calls as well. And yeah, just post a mentorship. And you guys could review the mentorship and, and kind of... Uh, Joji will set him up. Okay, I didn't know he could do that. All right, I guess Joji will set you up. He doesn't exactly post trades like I do, right? We don't all post trades the same, but... His trades are really, really good, and uh, they play out. So this bread is looking really good. Keep an eye on Brett, guys. Um, I will post some 1K to 1 mil trades for whenever I'm in them. And let's have an amazing week. Okay, we are going to be launching our mindset section in the app very soon. It is going to be in the uh, free section. But I recommend you guys watch these mindset videos I put out. Okay, go. Day three, Monday, you could chalk it up to day four, rolled in with day three. The weekend was, was the weekend. I'm feeling amazing today. I woke up, I got up super early, right? We're at the crack of dawn, 4 a.m. It is insanely sunny out today and we're feeling pretty good about the market, about the challenge, about life. The dog is trying to go find other dogs. Then she gets there and she gets too scared and runs away. But yeah, we're doing pretty good today. Um, definitely not in my overthinking mindset I was in. Things get to you sometimes and you just got to understand those emotions are there and let them subside. I'm going to be doing a Bitcoin update, crypto update for 3 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. We're in the 1K to 1 mil. We're in day three right now. Really day three, day four, but we're going to call it day three for the video. So here I'm going to do a little update. I'm going to show you guys we're flat on the MACD. We're just ranging. MACD is ranging. RSI is ranging, but pointing down. We've already broken the downtrend here. Okay, so we're ranging here too. And if you look at your support, we have support right here. On Bitcoin, you can see we did in fact break the trend to the upside, I mean to the downside. But now if you look at here, this is your new trend. So if you take that away like that, like that, you could see that you're just ranging in the trend. So I can see we're completely overbought in the 15. I can see we are curving down in our RSI or stochastic oscillator, I mean. So I'm really looking for that MACD cross. The 18 hour is dropping and we're just really ranging. So until Bitcoin crosses on that MACD, until our Ichimoku cloud crosses down, we've got down. This is moving up. This is moving down. Yeah, we're just really ranging in the zone. I don't see anything happening until Asia picks up and opens. For the most part, I'm just going to watch the market. 